Hey guys, so this is the last quiz um, in the five love languages quizzes. Um, this one's I'm actually like really looking forward to. It's called the personal anger assessment. I don't really know what exactly it's supposed to do, um, but I guess we'll find out at the end. Um, so the first question says, choose a statement that closely describes you. I have serious arguments with my loved ones sometimes for no reason. I think most people would think I handle my anger well. When I am angry with someone, I am quickly and respectfully able to tell them or her why. It's definitely the first one. Um, I am very good at being, so all of these say like, choose a statement that closely describes you. So I'm not gonna keep repeating that. Um, I am very good at being quick to talk to someone when who offends me so we can work out the issue. I fly off the handle quickly. Sometimes it takes me longer than I'd like to get over being angry. Um, that's kind of hard. I guess it just depends on what someone says. Um, oh wait, just a second. Um, I occasionally feel regret about how I express my anger. I simply let bygones be got bygones. I find it hard to forgive someone who had done me wrong. I probably feel regret. Um, little things don't bother me very much. I wish I had some better strategies or ideas for taking care of the anger that I feel. Um. I, t I take frustration so badly that I can't put it out of my mind. Wait a second. Um, I've been so angry at times I couldn't even remember some of the things I said or did. I constantly find appropriate outlets for my anger. I'm usually able to figure out what it is that makes me angry. It's definitely the first one. I don't generally like being angry with others. I have said malicious things about others to get back at them when I'm angry. I rarely, if ever, raise my voice in anger. First two. Oh, second one. I don't like being angry, but I've had trouble on the job because of my temper. I my temper has caused problems with loved ones, but I usually seem to work it all out. If I have anything to do with it, I don't let unresolved issues hang in the air. Who knows what I care about? Two. Uh, I don't tend to get any get in in many arguments some people are afraid of my bad temper i blurted things out in anger that knew i need to budge for right away second one though it doesn't always happen i usually recognize when i'm angry i have control over how i express my anger in the vast majority of situations i often break things when i'm angry after getting angry i still i am still able to act lovingly towards those around me I sometimes feel like arguments with my loved ones just lead to more arguments and difficulties. My anger tends to come out suddenly in strong bursts and often appear uncontrollable to others around me. Um, I just keep it to myself when I'm angry. I have to quick. I have. I'm quick to forgive others who have offended me. I'm usually able to resolve arguments with other people. After an argument, I find myself wishing I had thought of a better way to respond. People tend to think I overreact when I'm angry. I work hard on the facts uh, before I get angry. Uh, probably the first two, Jesus. Um, I think I'm done. Okay, it says, your anger is handling you. So let me see what it says. So it says, your anger is handling you. Your responses indicate that how you are currently handling your anger could use improvement. You likely have many difficulties stemming from how you express your anger and how you relate to others during times of conflict. Your angry responses in many situations are likely exaggerated and create additional problems for you. You also may not understand why you respond angrily in certain situations or from where your anger is stemming. These difficulties likely demand further attention from you to either heal some broken relationships or to move ahead in a healthy way in other personal and professional situations. Consider the following possible for future action. Action steps. One, your anger responses are likely driving people away quicker than you realize or want. It's important to take a serious look at your anger and how it is affecting your life. You will likely benefit from learning techniques that help you change your anger responses in the heat of the moment. While learning some of these techniques, however, you would also benefit from understanding 
what anger really is. In chapter 1, Dr. Chapman helps you define what anger is and where it comes from. Later in chapter 3, you will learn a unique and manageable technique for managing your anger. This is okay, that's cool. Um, 2. Proverbs 29.11 says, Fools vent their anger, but the wise quietly hold it back. Um, perhaps you've given vent to your anger for so long in so many situations that it's hard to remember what it's what it's like to keep it under control. Dealing with the long-term effects of anger can be difficult. You do well. You'd do well to make yourself very familiar with the specific anger management techniques Dr. Chapman highlights in his book. It may also be very beneficial for you to understand and identi identify the effects of long-term anger as it relates, re relates to your emotional well-being. Some something that is explained in greater detail in Chapter Seven and Twelve. So that's all it really says, um, which. I honestly wasn't expecting anything less. Um, but yeah, those are all the quizzes. So uh, I'll leave a link down below. That way, if you guys want to take the quiz, you can. Um, there's four quizzes. There's the love language quiz, the uh, apology quiz, appreciation quiz, and then the anger screening test thing. Um, so I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you later.